Whether you're new to Tarkov or returning experienced Tarkov player, I bet you still didn't know about the best rig in Tarkov because no one actually talked about it until my video. And so let's dive into it right now. So for example, let's look at Zook chest right here which is one of my favorite like, tactical rig out there. But something that I actually noticed was that um, right here there's a downside about these rigs is that they have ergonomics minus 2% and the movement speed of minus 2%. But then it does have a lot of size, like look at this, right? You guys can literally make good amount of stuff in here to make money, for example. And so if you're talking about duct tape, so duct tapes right now are 13K, and let's just say it is about 10K, and then we could put 20 in there, right? So 10 times 20 is 200K. So if you guys have like, you know, 20 duct tapes in there, then you guys can make 200K per rate, for example. But downside about that with um, this situation would be just having this um, disadvantage of ergonomics of minus 2% and movement speed minus 2%. And some of you guys will say like, oh, woo, it's only 2%. Come on, that's fine, right? But then let me show you something right here. So let's go to skier. And then on level four, you guys can unlock this amazing foregrip. People love this, man. It's like a flex, you know? But if you buy this, it gives you guys recoil control of minus 3% and plus two ergonomics. All right, but the freaking, how much is it? 48K, bro. Okay, and then if you guys go to level three, and then it gives you guys this one right here. And then it basically is almost similar besides plus one ergonomics difference. But guess what? This one is only 14K. And then this one was 48K with just plus one ergonomic difference. So if you do math right there, the difference is that, you know, it's 34K difference. And so what I'm trying to say here is that even that one ergo is 34K difference. And so when I did some research and stuff, I'm still working on it, but I'm going to make a next video about, you know, 100 ergo differences between, you know, 50 ergo and then kind of dive into, you know, if there's actually differences of, you know, 50 ergo and 100 ergo on the same gun. But as for right now, the what I'm trying to say is that, you know, you can get it up to 100 ergo right now with the gun, for example. And if you guys do math, you know, 2% of 100 is basically 2, right? And so if you guys make a gun that's 100% ergo and then, you know, you're losing 2% because you're using Zook, now you're losing 2 ergos which is basically now we just talked about from, you know, the skier analogy right there. And so it's super duper important to wear some kind of a rig that doesn't give you guys any penalties. For example, look at this one. This one literally gives you guys 20 size and it has no penalties. And so if you have compared with, you know, Wartech and Zook already, that, you know, you know which one is the clear answer already, right? And look at the size, it's literally the same thing. The only difference would be the bottom two right here, which is one by ones. And then this one gives you guys the two by ones, right? But, you know, it's fine. I personally think it's fine. Um, the best part about this rig is that it doesn't give you guys any penalties. Meanwhile, Zugs gives you guys minus 2% and movement speed as well when you need to run freaking fast to the extraction, right? So something like that. And let's dive into more into it because there is actually more rigs in the market. And so if you guys go to the flea market, um, gears, and then go to tactical rig, there's a lot of bunch of those, but let's just talk about the ones that has 16 slots or above. And so let's get it started. Oh yeah, and if you guys are below level 15 and you guys can't activate flea market, then I recommend you guys just going to Ragman level one right here. And then one of these two right here, CSA, doesn't have any penalties or the work tech, it doesn't have penalties. 10 slots is amazing. And then the other ones has like six slots, eight slots, you know, like 10 slots, but it gives you guys minus one. And so that's why I don't really recommend this whatsoever. I don't even know why they put this honestly, bro. Like this one is cheaper and has no penalty and same size too. And so I don't know if they're gonna ever fix that. Hopefully they do, but yeah, let's dive into it. So I brought some size 16 um, lists. Um, so there's Commando, which is look like this yellow one right here. Thunderbolt, which looks something like this. And then we have Triton, which is the black one right here. But I don't like it because the Ergo minus 1% right there. So I don't recommend that. Next, we have Craft, which looks something like this. And then we have Haley right here as well. So they all have 16 slots. And so you guys 
just gotta do your research which you need is cheaper right now in the market commando and craft would be the cheapest right now but you know after watching this video it's gonna go up and stuff and so make sure you guys do your research which one is the cheapest and then just going from there the only thing i would recommend um is daytime you guys can maybe use three of these because it's yellow and it's kind of bright um in the rate and so yeah you guys can use this in daytime but nighttime if you want to be sneaky then you guys can maybe use something like thunderbolt for example so that's the early wipe um you guys can use as after literally you guys hit level 15 and if you don't have money those four is recommended right there all right so don't use trinet ever again because it does give you guys minus one ergo and you saw the skier analogy right then after that the mid tier would be right here Wartech that we just talked about so if we talked about zerk black and the Serpats, um they do have 20 slots just like work tech but the downside about them is that it has minus two percent of movement speed minus two percent of ergonomics and so yeah zerk black serpent i used to love them and use them a lot but now after realizing that they have some downside benefits I started using Wartech and it's much better in my runs. Only the downside with this would be it's really bright, right? If you guys look at this, it's like really bright yellow. And so something I would recommend if you guys are nighttime runners is spending a little more money and it's actually even better, which is called Velocity. And it has 24 slots. Yes, it is 40K, but if you guys do come out with the runs, you can make bangs with this, you know, rig right there and it's a gray looking color and so that's why nighttime runs i would recommend velocity daytime runs you guys can use Wartech, for example in this scenario and the Wartech is about 25k in the market and yeah once again velocity is about 40k but if you do come out in a run you can make banks with this rigs and so i really recommend this is the late game runners right here and so yeah velocity will be the best one you guys can use for rigs and Wartech will be the second one and uh, you know the third ones will be all this four right here, which is Commando, Thunderbolt, Craft, and Haley. And that is it with this one. Honestly, if you guys want to check out other rigs, um, you guys can go for it. But these are the ones that it kind of stood me out the most out of them. And so, and I already learned that Wartech Velocity is the best one. So I will always, always freaking use this from now on, basically, unless I'm out of money or doing some uh, rat runs or you know whatever. And so hopefully you guys learned something in this video as well. I will make more videos like this for backpacks and you know guns and the ergos differences and stuff like that in future so don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you guys learned something and let me know what you guys learned okay and i'll see you guys in the next video ciao for now